Tricuspid stenosis is narrowing of the wall between the right atrium and right ventricle. Tricuspid wall prevents backflow of blood into the right atrium when the right ventricle contracts. Right atrium is the upper chamber which receives blood returning from the whole body. Right ventricle, the lower chamber, receives blood from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve and pumps it to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Commonest cause of tricuspid stenosis is rheumatic fever, a disease which involves major limb joints and heart walls. Another disease which can cause tricuspid stenosis is carcinoid heart disease. Carcinoid heart disease is due to carcinoid disease in which a tumor secretes certain hormones into the blood which can damage the heart walls. Birth defect of tricuspid valve known as Epstein's anomaly may also produce tricuspid stenosis. All these conditions can produce a leak of the tricuspid valve along with narrowing of its orifice. When the tricuspid valve is narrowed, right atrium finds it difficult to empty blood into the right ventricle. Right atrium enlarges and thickens to accommodate the extra blood which pulls up. Back pressure is also transmitted to the great veins from which right atrium receives blood. These are the superior vena cava from the upper part and inferior vena cava. Increased pressure in superior vena cava manifests as enlarged veins in the neck. When the pressure in the inferior vena cava rises very much, the liver becomes congested. Fluid starts collecting under the skin of the legs and in late stages in the tummy. Function of the liver may also be affected in the long run in severe cases.